Now, next step is to do the calculation. Computation and test statistic. What does R comp equal? But we've already done that. So let's just look at our spreadsheet that we've already done. And we'll see that we found that R was equal to 0.5943. So we'll just move that and put it in our table. 0.5943. Now we have to make a decision. Let's remember our R comp is 0.5943. That's the absolute value of our R comp as well. So our rejection rule, step four, said reject HO if our R comp is greater than or equal to 0.514. And it is. So we get to reject our HO. So step six, we just write reject the null hypothesis. Now step seven is a three-step uh, final statement, conclusion. So we always start with whether or not we'd reject it. We always start by saying what our alpha level is. So we would say at an alpha level of 0.05, that's just the way they always start. At an alpha level of 0.05, now we have to say what we found. And what we found was that there is a significant direct relationship. Direct because our R score is positive. So at an alpha level of 0.05, there is a significant direct relationship between students' hardiness scores and the first year grade point averages. So that's the first two of the three steps we need for our conclusion. Well, we start with that at an alpha level, then we say what we found, and next comes the statistical string. The statistical string always starts with telling what uh, kind of statistic we calculated. We calculated an R, and then for R's we have to say what our degrees of freedom are. So let's take a look at that. Our, our degrees of freedom were 13. Remember, we had 15 pairs of scores minus 2 gave us 13. Now, to get the next thing, is we just say what our R value ended up being from step number 5. In our case, it ended up being 0.5943. Now, you might wonder, why am I not putting uh, 0? Why are I why am I not putting 0 0.5943? That has nothing to do with statistics. It has nothing to do with nursing. It has to do with APA format. In the APA format, it says if you have a number that can never go over 1, and our scores can never go over 1, they can never be greater than 1, neither can probabilities, neither can alphas. If they can't be greater than 1, you don't put a leading 0. So our slope would have a zero in front of it if, if, if it was less than one, because slopes can be greater. Our intercept, because intercepts can be greater than one, but our scores and correlations and probabilities, none of those would have the leading zero. So after our comma, now what we do is we put our probability, our p-value, but we don't know exact p-value like we did before. But we do know that we rejected it. And that, and since our alpha is 0.05, we know that to reject our null hypothesis, our probability of being wrong must be less than 0.05. If it were more, we wouldn't risk doing it. So it must be less than 0.05. So we'll just put p is less than 0.05. And then finally, we'll put that this was a two-tailed test at the end. So that's the way we would write our steps. But just for the fun of it, let's take a look at what would happen if we had had a negative correlation. We didn't, but let's pretend instead of having a, a positive 0.5943, we would have had a negative 0.5943. We still would have rejected the HO. But our conclusion would be different. We would say at an alpha level of 0.05, that stays the same. But following that, we would say there is a significant inverse relationship between students' hardiness scores and their first year grade point averages. So the difference is in the word inverse versus direct. Inverse means that the higher the hardiness score, the lower the GPA is likely to be at the end of the first year. 
uh, that's not the case. Let's also see what would have we would have done if we would have gotten a score that was lower than 0.514, so was not significant. What if we would have computed an R comp and it would have been 0.5043? In that case, our decision would be fail to reject HO, and our conclusion would be at an alpha level of 0.05, there is insufficient evidence to conclude that there is a relationship between students' hardiness scores and their first year grade point averages. R parenthesis 13 and a parenthesis equals 0 0.5043 comma P greater than 0 0.05. Actually this would be, yeah, P greater than 0 0.05 because here we fail to reject. So that means our probability of being wrong must have been greater than 0 0.05. And again, it's two-tailed. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to do a graph of this data and to plot our regression line on that scatter graph.